blasphemous painting of George Floyd as Jesus stolen. On November 24th, a controversial painting titled Mama was stolen from the Mary Mirror of Justice Chapel at the Catholic University of America, or CUA for short. The painting shows a black Mary cradling the body of Jesus after his crucifixion, similar to Michelangelo's Pietas sculpture. The painting drew controversy for depicting Jesus in the likeness of George Floyd, who died on May 25th last year while being restrained by police officers. Kelly Latimore, the artist behind the painting, said he has received death threats over the painting that increased when the conservative website The Daily Signal published a story about it. Former Catholic University College Republicans president, Blaine Clegg, considered the comparison between George Floyd and Almighty God's sinless son a, quote, damning disservice to the vast majority of Catholics. Wait, so this was on purpose? They on purpose made him look like George Floyd? Yeah, the, the artist says oh. this is George Floyd. Why? So it was basically a commentary on um, if, if you're a Christian, you're supposed to believe in uh, an, an, Christ's presence in each of us. And so it's a, it's a reflection of Christ in each of us. And also the Pieta sculpture is about the mourning of Mary. It's about her, her suffering and her sorrow over the crucifixion of her son. So this is like a representation of George Floyd's mother. That's why it's titled Mama, um, mourning and the sorrow experienced of the passing of her son. Although she was actually dead at the time that this happened, but. But, but I don't know, this makes no sense. Okay, sure. George Floyd was like a victim. He wasn't like a hero. Like he wasn't like, he didn't do any of this on purpose. Mm -hmm. Like he did, he wasn't sacrificing himself or anything, so I don't understand. Yeah. I, I, no, that's a very good point. Art. Yeah, but I think I think that actually art. is a very good point, Armin, because um, there's a huge distinction between like making a martyr out of someone who was actually fighting for a cause, and then lionizing a victim who was just um, it 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 wasn't something that they were actually um that, what's the word i'm looking for i was gonna say like bring upon themselves but it um it, it didn't happen because of a specific cause that they were fighting for right i think right. yeah it's a really important distinction however however artists is artists gonna art uh, like you know True. what i mean like artists like art doesn't like have you seen art <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> like, like it doesn't really have to make sense <laughs> it just have to make people talking all right i mean i guess hey actually I'll, I'll take that back okay um the artist's job is to just get people to talk I and mean, we like reflect on things yeah and this art, actually you're right this art this artist has a, a, a mission accomplished <laughs> So, like, if you were, if you're supposed to get eyeballs in an art, like, why not? Like, do whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, put Santa there, actually, right? Like, if 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 we replace Jesus with Santa, we wouldn't be like, yeah, and actually, like, hey, we're being hypocrites. If this art was like, instead of Jesus, there was a Santa there, right? We wouldn't be like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Santa didn't sacrifice himself, right? We were like, <laughs> we wouldn't say that. We were like, that's interesting, <laughs> right? So the, why the, we well, the Catholics would still have the same problem with it. Yeah, but the Catholics have problem with everything. Who cares about them? I'm talking <laughs> about, <laughs> I'm talking about us, um, like criticizing art. Like art is just like, yeah, art is just art. Um, so yeah, I guess like I take that back. I mean, the, by the way, the, the the it looks beautiful. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, it's done it? in oh, a oh, traditional like icon um, icon graph. Yeah, I, what's the word I'm looking for? I icon graphic. Rubber, I like it like style. I like it when like old and new comes together. You know what I mean? Like in art, mm -hmm. like modern mixed with like something. All, you know, old styles with new styles just mixed with each other in a way that they don't. You know how when we watch, um, what were we watching? Um, 
What was it? Foundation together. Yeah, foundation. We're like yeah. we, we saw we saw we we look at like giant spaceships right next to old looking you know civilization right next to each other and just the combination just the looks contrast so, yeah it just looks so beautiful right so like if you look at this art you can see like this old style painting you know with the halo and everything but the colors are like and the per like the person here is like somebody modern you know so i don't know it just looks it just looks i don't know interesting i like the contrast um ah. Rebecca corrected me. I was looking for the word iconographic. Thank you. What does it mean? Um, that's the style that it's in. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So I wanted to read a little bit about um, like the artist and what the artist had to say about this piece of work. Um, saying that the painting was meant to mourn George Floyd, but he when he when asked like, is this a painting of George Floyd or is this Jesus? He just answers yes. And um, <laughs> he said, he said, quote, an image of a black mother and son who was unjustly murdered by the state was true to the nature of the personhood of Christ. I believe Christ is in that image as much as it would be in the normal Pieta, the European version of Christ, he said. In Matthew's gospel, Jesus asks us to find him in all people, especially those who suffer as George Floyd did. And um however the catholic university they have distinctly made the statement they're like this isn't george floyd we don't view this as george floyd um but the artist itself was like no it is <laughs> like okay I, I mean if it's triggering catholics that's so that's uh, it's a bonus mm -hmm. um and okay the they need to make another says that one they've now. just been like inundated with like insane racist death threats Ooh, oh no like real white supremacist stuff. Jesus Christ. Okay, they make a second one, just as a response, with George Floyd being crucified and the person, the Roman soldier, with the, with the spear. Mm -hmm. That would be the police instead of having a, ro you know, make it the policeman. Yeah, that would be about the comparison of the state, the state yeah, violence. The, that makes that would make yeah. sense. And also, actually, I want to take something else back because, like, we we see that, like from the story of Jesus, like we say, like this doesn't make sense because Jesus apparently had pl like planned the crucifixion, right? But George Floyd was a victim. He wasn't a hero. He was a victim, right? Um, however, that's like the Jesus story. It depends on which gospel you read. Okay, True. because three of the four gospels apparently he was in on the plan, but at least one of them, he was like. What the hell is happening? Why is this happening? God, you have forsaken me, right? Mm -hmm. So, like the earlier gospels, oh, and the earlier understanding of Jesus' story was not somebody that was like, I'm God, and this was this is going exactly according to the plan. It was like he was Jesus' earlier versions of Jesus, he was the victim, not the Jesus was not the you know. Yeah, so yeah, maybe according to the earlier gospels, like this was done to him, not planned by him. So yeah, I guess. Oh, Ian um, is asking a good question. Susie, look at the art with your inner Catholic eyes and tell us, tell us, does it trigger you? Well, of course it doesn't trigger me now. I can <laughs> see why Catholics would be upset by it though, because um, although Christ, we do have, um, you know, we're supposed to see Christhood within each of us. We're actually making this statement as boldly as this is saying this human is the son of God like that's straight up blasphemy <laughs> um and that that's where it went way too far for a lot of people well i mean they're, they're full of they're, yeah i do want to show that but they're full of crap as well because if you read the old testament every like there's there's part of it that every human is referred to as the son of God, sons of, sons of daughters and sons of god right like I mean, yes i remember yeah, that's so, more in so. a paternalistic way and less in a messianic wait no oh actually never mind we're Trinity. all referred to as children of god not sons of yeah. god right so that makes us all uh, girls because apparently there's only one of one everybody is a children of god but there's only one son of god which is jesus <laughs> so that would make the rest of us daughters daughters of god <laughs> that's, that's the only <laughs> oh my god uh you want to read this um angela is saying i think that people have a problem with it 
based on the argument that George Floyd was not Christ-like because of his criminal record. This argument can be debunked easily using the same scripture they live by because Jesus broke many laws. True! So yes, Jesus can be reflected yeah. in all this. Okay, That's okay, very okay. True. Very true. Okay, <laughs> Katie, gonna... so much <laughs> Trans woman validation! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm so glad that Katie's back. I missed her in the live oh, chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Katie in the live chat is really good that, to have her back here. Um, um, all right. I wanted to you... show this little video by Fox News about the painting and, like, why people are outraged because I thought it was very interesting just to hear the way Catholics were talking about it. Okay, let me know if you have audio, okay? Wait, I don't have audio. What's happening? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe unmute the tab. Oh, yeah, there we go. That makes a lot more sense. Refresh. Play. Whoa. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. A few weeks ago. I Here we go. We got audio. A uh, portrait of a, a painting, excuse me. Uh, depicting uh, George Floyd as Jesus Christ hung up in our law school. I'm an undergraduate student, so I don't spend much time in the law school, and I just happened to stumble upon it uh, when I was passing through on the way to classes. Uh, I had never seen it there before. I did some research into it, and it had been installed in March, uh, and I was shocked. I was surprised. Uh, Jesus has been depicted as many different races, but Jesus is always depicted as nothing but Jesus, the sinless son of Almighty God. Uh, there has never, to my knowledge, been uh, any serious, respected Catholic theologian um, or uh, idol maker, or icon maker, excuse me, um, who has depicted Jesus Christ as another human being. And that's exactly what this is. It's a direct what? replica of the Pieta, which is a, a sculpture by Michelangelo that depicts uh, the Virgin Mother Mary holding Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and that's what it is. And that's what it's mocking. The Reception Mocking. to this has been universally negative. I haven't found no. anybody who's been able to give a serious theological justification for this kind of uh, heretical. Okay, serious theological justification does not exist. That that's a contradiction. Blasphemous idolatry, um, and I I don't think that I've found anyone who's able to do that because you can. Uh, there really isn't an argument in favor of this. The only reaction that I've seen from the university has been comment from a handful of uh, individuals um, who didn't really answer any of the criticisms or concerns that students had, but instead oh. tried to make it seem as if the individual depicted in the painting was Jesus Christ and not George Floyd. That uh, doesn't stand up to even the, the, most, uh, the smallest amount of scrutiny. Uh, the artist of scrutiny the look at them taking icon, their religion you can call it that has uh, admitted publicly multiple times that the painting depicts george floyd there's a fine oh, line wow, between you, you got recognizing the innate dignity and righteousness of human beings that are made in the image of god and embracing brazen progressive politics and that's what's happening here it's hard to imagine that progressive politics could come to a place like not that they could come to a place like Catholic University. Of course, they're welcome. All views are welcome. But it's hard to imagine that progressive politics could be fully embraced by university faculty and staff and administrators at the Catholic University of America. It's, it's so cute when they take their fairy tales so seriously. Like, there's no justification for this based on our, like, Ch children's stories like there's no like who could take this seriously based on our, our made up our made up fairy tale does not justify this like oh wow like you seriously take these stories way too seriously like okay. i thought it was so funny when he like, was saying he caught himself saying idol maker instead of icon maker i was like oh mm. No, because of course like, many it, people find the way that catholics portray saints and christ to be idols Right, that's shirk right. baby that was a Ferrari answer no but <laughs> no but it's so interesting because like nobody could justify this like nobody could justify this i just i could come up with 200 different justifications if you could just give me five minutes to think of you know um some and he's like oh theologically ah, like uh, nobody can seriously come up with a theological explanation like 
oh, okay, theologically. Like, okay, well, you can't seriously, te- like, it's so funny, you know, that they think, like, the rest of the world kill, cares should care about their theological ex- explanations of how things ought to be, and we should take their fairy tales seriously. Like, okay, well, your theological explanations should not be taken seriously at all. Um, so, yeah, like, whoa, so what? Like, he's complaining about the, the fact that this art doesn't match their theology, like, as if it has to, uh, you know, like, as if the rest of the world has to just, be, you know, accept their way of looking at things. I mean, maybe he would say, like, well, this is in the Catholic Church, so, so they should. Well, but yeah, I mean, this is how this is how you kept getting, you know, like you guys. This is how you get Protestants out of Catholics. This is how you get so many different versions of you. When you when your when your stories are made up, like you could branch off and come up with different made up stories. Anyways, is there anything that we want to uh, highlight in the live chat? Oh yeah, there you go. Angela has another good argument or mm. comment. Uh, Angela is saying, he said that there is no good argument. I just made a good argument. The scripture depicts Jesus as a man and an imperfect one at that. George Floyd was a man. Mythologically speaking, theology is BS. Jesus is a reflection of man and our resistance to this idea of perfection. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. But wasn't Jesus supposed to be perfect? Like, the idea is, like, this man was not perfect, but Jesus was perfect. This is what I always don't get. Like people were like the part of the Bible that was added 150 years later, the part that Jesus said that, you know, let the person who hasn't sinned cast the first stone. And I'm like, well, aren't you? <laughs> like, isn't Jesus? Like, was that just him? Like, I I I have to cast the stone. Like, move aside, everybody. This is this is mine. <laughs> Actually, like, that's how I interpreted it when I was a kid. I was like, "Oh, he's the only person who can do that." Yeah. So, like, and why that's did, like, like people part of the commentary. So people, people stop stoning, and he moved aside. Well, Jesus, pick up the stone. You're the you're the person with that descent. Like, why are you not? <laughs> but like, then it's stoning? also speaking to his like magnanimity to be like, "I could, but I'm not going to." Well, you should. You just made this. You just. You just. I mean, you shouldn't. But I'm just saying, you based on your own standards. He said, let this one who hasn't sinned cast the first stone. Well, go ahead. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm again. <laughs> and then some poor I'm person's against... like, ow, Jesus, why'd you do that to me, man? <laughs> no, but hey, like, guys, I'm only officially. Only I can. I'll hold the rest of them back. <laughs> this is made up stuff. I'm officially against stoning people. Um, it's interesting that the most, the most, the part of the Jesus, Jesus story, which makes him look actually the most you know the nicest because the rest of it is actually he's insane like he curses a tree he calls a woman a dog right did you see that part he's he's racist he's like he's racist twice in the bible okay one time he acts like samaritans can't be good people and the other part like there was another woman i don't know what race she was but she said he she he calls her a dog based on her race right he goes out and whips people in a in a, in a market and tells them to get out of his father's house. Like, you don't own this place. Like, this is my daddy's house. And he's like, Philip stables and starts beating people. And then he, in the revelation, he tells people that if you're not on my side, I'm going to burn you forever. He tells people that I'm here to bring the sword, not peace. He tells people that if you love me less than your daddy and your mommy and your family, then you're not with me. He's insane, mm-hmm. right? He's a psychopath. And people are like, oh, Christians are bad, but Christianity, Jesus is good. Like Gandhi said that. Like, I don't like your Christians, but I like your Jesus. Are you serious? Have you met Jesus? Have you read the Bible? He's a psychopath. <laughs> He's insane, right? But the, 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 and it, the part of the story that is like, oh, don't cast the first stone, blah, blah, blah. That, that is the, the least original part of the Bible. That was added like 150 years later. Like even the Christians now are now admitting like, okay, yeah, maybe this was not in the Bible um anyways uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay can we i don't understand i don't understand how like a christian can learn about how the bible was canonized and still believe in it maybe they rationalize it by saying that god guided what we now consider to be canon uh, to be fair, though, even skeptics and atheists don't know how the Bible was canonized. Like, apparently, the whole Council of Narnia thing, it was not how it was canonized. So, 
we can't blame the Christians, even if the atheists don't know. By the way, I just have to kind of mention something. I said the Council of Narnia, and you did <laughs> instead of Nicaea. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, <laughs> like before, like it's, 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 I, I hope so. Our video editor sees this and puts this at the end of <laughs> what I. But but people liked it in the live chat. Instead of saying Council of Nicaea, I said Council of Narnia. And actually, that's like, that's fitting. I think it's like well, I don't know. when you said that, I was like Narnia. Yeah, so I said Narnia, like as in rhyming with Nicaea, but it's Narnia. <laughs> but yeah, mix Narnia. It was with enough different Nicaea. for me to be like, maybe yeah. he's right. <laughs> so I rhymed Narnia with the way you say Nicaea. So I said Narnia. <laughs> that was, I don't know. That was perfect. I don't know. I think that was that's very fitting. Um, people liked it, not just, but anyways, just wanted to clarify fix that. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below